In this lesson, I'll show you how and why to arrange text carefully in a layout. Okay, so now we know how to help people read body text, and we know how to use display text to get their attention. Now we'll practice guiding a reader through information. A single project often has lots of different text elements doing different jobs, so we need to think about how these chunks of text work together and how they feel together. When we experience a social graphic, for example, as we scroll through our feeds, some specific things happen. A key element will catch our attention. Then our eyes will move to a secondary spot and we'll continue scanning. And as we do this, we're getting a gut feeling about this graphic emotionally. Typographic layout guides our eyes and influences these emotions. Having a clear hierarchy is super important here, but I want to focus on two other aspects that are also really important. Alignment and proximity. Alignment, lining elements up in consistent ways, makes things feel more organized and calm. And proximity is how near or far elements are from one another. Things that are closer to each other will seem related. And that really helps us process what we see. So our next exercise is about arranging text in a layout. The only thing we'll be doing here is moving text around freely. And as we do it, we'll focus on alignment and proximity. The purpose here is to develop a sense for how small tweaks add up to an overall feeling. So here we have our body text, our display text, and some other elements. Let's move them around on the design surface and look at their relationship to each other. So we're not changing font sizes or anything, not adjusting properties, just deciding for ourselves how close are headings to the body text? And how close is the display text to the rest of it? How close are the text blurbs to each other? You may come up with something different here, and that's okay. Just like with the previous exercise, we're adjusting one thing, which is where elements are positioned. But we're thinking about something else. We're thinking about alignment and proximity. So alignment. This whole group of elements can feel misaligned. You can think of the whole layout as having an overall alignment. It's not always as simple, but there's usually one strong axis of alignment in a design. Pairs of elements can be misaligned. So pay attention at this lower level too, to make sure that things feel right. And there are details to consider as well. Different design tools will snap elements to one another to try to help with alignment consistency, but you can't always trust that. You need to make sure that things feel visually aligned to you. Now, proximity. We can see when these heading and body text sections are too close to each other, things get murky. The proximity of these headings to one another starts to associate them together rather than with their respective body text elements. If our layout is too spacious, starts to feel disconnected and messy. And this gets even more interesting when you think about boundaries. If you're designing for specific page or screen dimensions, the presence of those boundaries can influence everything. Now that these elements are closer to the edges than to each other, we have a problem. We need to tighten that all up. Do this exercise several times using the example project. It's very important to compare the solutions you come up with and judge how alignment and proximity are working, whether they're working well or not. The more times you do this, the more exercise you have in making those judgments.